What's up guys, Shehbaz here. So Samsung is abandoning the traditional design of the Galaxy S Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is a great combination of the Galaxy Note series and the unrivaled power of the Galaxy S series. Fans absolutely love this combination and expect the next Galaxy S Ultra with the same concept. That being said, designer Technizo Concept recently shared renders of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which looks great. The images also show that the S Ultra has been upgraded in two important ways, such as the display and the main camera system. Previously, there were rumors that the Galaxy S23 Ultra would feature an under-display selfie camera, but judging by the renders, that's not true. The device still has a hole for the selfie camera but with noticeable curves around the edges. There is no official word on the design language of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but the concept shows how Samsung can improve the design of its next Galaxy flagship. According to the latest news, according to the latest news, the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra phone has major upgrades. In terms of two important aspects, the display and the camera, the Korean tech giant will reportedly introduce its 200 megapixel isocell image sensor with the Galaxy S23 Ultra smartphone. On the other hand, Samsung is likely using the same badge as the concept showcasing a Huawei like up display on the Galaxy S23 Ultra model. But the latest rumors are different. Our old dreams will not come true. According to the latest news, Samsung Galaxy S23 smartphones are unlikely to receive a subscreen front camera. The company is dissatisfied with the quality of such systems. Samsung is not considering adding underscreen front cameras to the Galaxy S23 line of smartphones. They were also not in the Galaxy S22. This is stated on the Korean site Never, a user under the name, citing sources in the supply chain, claims that Samsung does not have much confidence in quality of this technology. The sources believe that the underscreen cameras do not yet match the quality of conventional front cameras. ZTE and Xiaomi also had similar problems. They also experimented with underscreen solutions but failed to solve all the problems. Even with the $1799 US Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. The quality of selfie shots were lower than a regular camera. Therefore, according to these sources, Samsung will not release a premium line with such cameras. It was previously reported that the front cameras in the Galaxy S23 will receive more powerful image sensors with a resolution of 12 megapixels and these smartphones are credited with the main camera with a resolution of 200 megapixels. Let's see what happens in the future. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care of yourself very well. Peace out.